From our nation's sporting capital comes a new reality show where professional footballers compete for love. Welcome to Footballer Wants a Wife. There will be highs and lows that will move you. There will be blood, sweat and tears. And of course, drama. <coughs> Unexpected drama. Are you ready? Get set. Let's meet our wannabe wags. I was confident, but apprehensive. I literally vomited in my mouth. Now I know what love tastes like. I work in an industry just full of gay guys, and I actually have never had a boyfriend. Ladies, welcome to Footballer Wants a Wife. <laughs> the competition is going to be fierce, and you will need all your skills to tackle your man. I'm your host, Sally Brightmore. Let's meet our footballers. <laughs> Seahawks fullback, Dustin Cox. Real easy for everyone to go. Dustin Cox, playboy, Philandra, sleeping with his coach's wife. I just thought it was important for Australia to see the man behind the face. Carlton Black's goal sneak, Stephen Papa Constantinou. So my mother was like, Stephen, you need to find a wife. And I was like, perfect. There is this show. So I applied for a footballer wants a wife. Footballer, me, wife, question mark. Former Australian goalkeeper, Camden Silversack. I was married for eight years, um, and then when Timmy was born, his mum took one look at his hair. I wish I had a mummy. Me too, buddy. Dustin, welcome. <laughs> Stephen, welcome to the competition. Please, call me Stephen. <laughs> and Camden. Hi. Yeah, I believe in diversity. I think there should be a redhead on every team. Oh, but I, I wouldn't f one. Ladies, footballers, let's play ball. The game has officially begun. The women will now have to prove themselves on the speed dates. First player off the bench is Stephen Papa Constantinou. Hey, Veronica. Whoa, <laughs> come in, come in. Oh my God, you are beautiful, you know that? Woo, <laughs> we're dancing. Come sit down, come sit down. So, uh, let me talk about me. <laughs> my initial thoughts, good listener. My name's Jade Shepherd, oh, and down. I have a surprise Wait. for someone. Feel the burning here? That's when you know it's working. Yes! <laughs> oh. Jade! Ah, oh, fair bump, play on. Hey, long time no see. How did she get out of the restraining order? All these girls are looking for love. I've already found it. I know everything about Camden Silversack. <laughs> everything. <laughs> Speed date number two. Good luck, Camden. When my father died, he said, Jones, all I want is for you to marry Camden Silversack. I'm here to fulfill a dying man's last wish. I'm not sure if she's here for the right reasons. <laughs> Meanwhile, on speed date number three, Dustin is on his best behaviour. Always the wedding planner, never the bride. I feel like this show is my chance to find true love. In the Chinese Yugo culture, the groom shoots his bride-to-be with a bow and arrow. It's a pact of uh, love. I don't know, I'm just concerned of how the public's gonna feel about me shooting a chick with an arrow on the first date. Can't I just hit you with a stick or something? <laughs> Come on, it'll be fun. I'm ready. <laughs> kind of feel like I've been taken advantage of. <sighs> Did you hear this, the, the Dustin got to shoot someone with an arrow? I didn't get to shoot someone with an arrow. A two? Are you serious? After a bad score, Jackie will need more than a bow and arrow to win Dustin's heart. This wedding planner will need all of her skills as she throws the first wag party. I just have to show these footballers that there are still women in this world with grace and dignity. Dustin, you made your martini. Oh, thanks, babe. Have you had one before? Uh, yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah, I so shook it and I stirred it. It was really fun. You don't mind messing around? Oh, well. Do you like martinis? Huh? Um, yeah, no, they're, they're great. 
Do you know how to drink them? You can take the uh, the toothpick and then you just put the olive just right in your mouth. Yeah. yeah, you can suck on it. I like to swallow them. Sometimes I just wish that maybe I wasn't as good looking as I am and that people could just sort of see how deep I am inside myself. I would be very surprised if one of these boys didn't have their ring on this finger by the end of the night. The party is in full swing, as Peggy is the second girl to show off her special skills. <laughs> My nose is one of the strongest in the whole wide world. Ooh, 43, Steven. No way! That is awesome! <laughs> Ooh, it's Veronica. <laughs> yes! Athlete's foot. How did she know? I'm just kidding, it's Camden, yeah? <laughs> yes! <laughs> that is awesome! <laughs> Candy kicks things up a notch as she impresses the group with her dancing skills. <laughs> yeah, it got pretty weird. <laughs> I kind of liked it. 18! Stephen hasn't wasted the opportunity to impress Veronica, but his deep squats have also caught the eye of his jealous ex. <laughs> This was supposed to be my moment. I just feel like everybody just has their own agenda. <laughs> silver sack, silver sack, silver sack. Oh, silver sack, oh, silver sack, silver sack. Camden, why'd you do that? That was an accident. Something hit me. <laughs> Smells like an excuse to me. <laughs> Am I right, Peggy? Too soon. I don't know what I did to deserve all this. All I can do is keep my head held high. Day one has come to an end and all the wannabe wags and footballers gather in the clubhouse for the first elimination ceremony. But before we begin, Peggy has some shocking news. I've got extensive damage to my nasal cavity and, um... Oh, oh the doctors say I may never smoke again. Love hurts. Camden has a present to give you. It's a scented candle from our sponsors, Fantasy King. It's time for the first Guernsey ceremony. Stephen, you're first. Veronica, you are my first draft pick. I think Veronica is very beautiful and funny. I felt a real connection. And to think, Stephen, you were able to build such a special bond despite Veronica being deaf. What? Dustin. Lucy. Hope. Bella. Candy. Kayla. Kareem. For the remaining ladies, you haven't made it under the salary cap. So you will literally be under the salary cap. If he doesn't pick me, I will literally die. Jackie. <laughs> oh, shit, I meant Jade. Sorry, I meant Jade. Can I do that? Yes, that, that's fine. Jade. <laughs> For the remaining ladies who did not receive a Guernsey, you have been dropped from the team and it is time to leave the club. I'm sorry, Dad. I'll be back. This is the last time that you will ruin the plans of a wedding planner. Congratulations, your journey to love has begun. Next week on Footballer Wants a Wife. Initially, I thought she said dead, but then I realised she said death. So, all good. Veronica! Dustin's past catches up with him. Asshole. Our ladies compete in the first weekly wag challenge for the Golden Mouth Guard of Immunity. And does one of our footballers jump the gun and make a surprise proposal? Find out next week, or right now, click here.
welcome to this week's WAG Challenge, which will see the women compete for ultimate WAG status. The winner gets the Golden Guard of Immunity. Brought to you by Fantasy King. Now remember, all is fair in love and war. On your marks, get set.